Hey, it's Jonah, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make the table of contents for your Kindle book clickable. You're definitely going to want to do this because it makes life a lot easier for your readers, and if they don't have this feature at their disposal, it's going to leave a bad impression and probably get you a negative review, or instead of a four-star review, you get a three-star, and so forth. Now, notice how the table of contents for all of my books are more than just a list of chapters. They're clickable links that lead directly to the corresponding chapters, and they have a description beneath them. Now, I do this because when people click on the look inside feature of the Amazon sales page, the table of contents is something they're definitely going to see, and I want to use that to help me close the sale. So a good practice for you to use is to treat the first 10% of your book almost like sales copy or like a promise of what the rest of the book contains, but don't go overboard, don't make it look like a long sales pitch. And I say the first 10% because that's what the look inside feature shows of all books published in the Kindle store. Now I'm making the table of contents page here for my book, Everything You Know About Money Is Wrong, which by the way you can download for free. Here's how I do it. Throughout the book when I wrote the chapters and titled them, I wrote the title of the chapter in the heading 1 style. You see this? Uh, the title here is in the heading 1 style, whereas the rest of this is in the normal style. So when I make my table of contents page, I type in the chapter titles in the normal style. Then I select the text, right click, and hit hyperlink. This window pops up. Now look to the left here, it gives you some options. Existing file or web page, place inside this document, email address, etc. You want to select place in this document. Then it gives me a new list to select from here. This is a list of all the headings and subheadings throughout the book. This is why I said to use the headings in the styles panel for your chapter titles. It makes the whole process of linking the table of contents a lot easier. The title of the first chapter is What You've Been Told About Money That's Flat Out Wrong, and I look for that in this list of headings here and select it. Now my chapter link is clickable and directs me to the corresponding chapter. Now I can change where this chapter appears in the book, I can rearrange all of them anywhere I want, but that chapter link will always take me to this heading. So if you're adding a new chapter or something in the middle of your book, you don't have to worry about redoing any of this. Now still check it of course, you want to make sure that all of your uh, clickable links in the book work and work properly, but most likely you won't have to redo anything, because the link is to the heading, it's not to a page number in the book, it's to this particular heading. So you do that for every chapter and then you have a clickable table of contents.